my second fly fishing trip out for the year. Still winter. I'm um, just gonna hit some local northern New Jersey waters today. See if we can uh, grab maybe a couple fish. I did manage to catch a fish last time, which was which was nice. But uh, I'd like to be able to catch a few more. So remember my camera mount this time. Remember my sunglasses this time. But uh, who knows what I forgot. <laughs> See when we get out there. All right. Wish me luck. Pro tip for fishing in really cold water, socks, hand warmers, or foot warmers, they make foot ones. Put it here, second pair of socks. Voila, warm feet. Not the most comfortable thing in the world but uh, better than having cold toes. Right now I'm fishing a pink Pertagon and a Rainbow Warrior, which was uh, the two flies I had luck on last time I was out. I'm wondering if Northern New Jersey winter fishing I wonder if the trout like pink. Cause I tried a bunch of other colors, a bunch of other flies. These were the only two I got bites on. Catching my only fish on the rainbow warrior. All right, so making lots of mistakes. I'm leading my line this way. I think I'm doing that because of the wind. And that was an awful cast. There it is. That was better. I might try going to the other side of the stream. Oh, that wind is a killer. Oh, <laughs> that's awful. Oh, the tangle. I'm gonna try this little section here. I'm gonna try to do a little bit better job of reading water this year. I know there's a deep pool here. So that's why I was starting there. I know the fish hang out in there. This is a pretty popular section of this river. But then you can see all this water, it, it all filters into this section. And it's much shallower. So I don't, I don't know if there's, you know, the winter fish are gonna be hanging out in this section. But maybe out there, maybe in that little eddy over there. I'm not sure how deep that is, so I'll go check that out. Looks pretty good, there's water coming in. It's a deeper pool here. It's a big little eddy going on. Water coming backwards a little bit. There could be some fish in here. Let me give this a shot. of this run but it's pretty shallow uh no i cover for for fish so i'm not really sure anything will be here but we'll throw a couple in i really gotta work on my casting geez that's awful i don't know if my Flies are heavy enough to get down. Let me go up here a little bit. So I was uh, looking for new spots to fish. Found this nice little pull off. And wow, is this gonna be a hike? That goes like straight down there. <laughs> Maybe hard to tell from video, but that is 
That is scary looking. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. But we'll see. Wish me luck. Hopefully I don't die. All right, I just made it to a new section of the river I've never been before. Looks pretty good, it's a little slow. Some uh, rock or something up there. Some small little riffles. It's a little deeper. This might be some good winter holdover spots. So we're gonna try to fish this. I gotta try to get out here without spooking all these fish. A little slippery and I almost went down I do have a waiting staff which I'm not using because I'm smart there's overhead trees which is gonna make casting very difficult Oh, eagle. That's a close eagle. Hello. Right over my head. Cool. First bald eagle of the year. Unfortunately, the multiple times I saw bald eagles last year, I didn't catch anything. So I look at bald eagles right now as bad luck. <laughs> so maybe we could turn this around and get good luck from an eagle. Oh. No. Nope. I'm just snagging bald in here. Oh, oh, I had one. That was a hit. I was too slow to get to the, to tighten my line. Let's see if we can nab it. Um, all right, change my point fly up. I've now got a really dark looking Pertagon. It's one that I actually made up on my own. So I'll be pretty excited if I catch a fish on it. It's just got olive, it's olive body with chartreuse extra small wire just to give it a little bit of contrast. Black tungsten bead. And uh, it looks really cool. I really am proud of this fly. I hope it catches a fish. So far, not had much luck. I want to get up that little disturbance in the water up there. There's some fish hanging out by that. There we go. There we go. Get some side pressure on him. This guy's really light. Too much. Here he comes. Took my purdy gone. The fight! Oh man! I got my rod stuck in a tree. Oh, it's a nice looking fish. 
Yeah, look at that. My Pertagon. First fish I've caught on a fly that I designed. It's a nice fish too. There we go. Like him out. That's a pretty good fish. That is, let's see. Got laying down six plus nine and a half. This 15 and a half inch fish. All right. Beautiful. Look at that fish. All right. This one needs a little time to recover, so it fought pretty hard. Let's take it easy, little guy. <sighs> a good fish. Looks like he's been beaten up a little bit. 68 and 8. That's a 16 inch fish. All right. All right. Let's see if we can let you go. All right. I'm so pumped. I just caught a nice 15, 16 inch rainbow i think it might have been 16 the more i looked at it of course because i want it to be bigger but no i catch it but i caught it on this guy i don't know if you could see it maybe i'll do like a fly tying video on this one but this is the one that i i actually designed my first fish on a fly that i made by myself it's a pertagon with an olive body chartreuse wire kind of looks like a midge but it's got a greenish tint to it. Uh, CDL tail, black tungsten bead head with a wing casing. It's pretty small. This is on a 16? It's either 16 or 18 hook. I think it's a 16. But man, it feels pretty awesome. I wasn't able to catch a fish for a while on all these other flies, but one that I did is what worked. All right, that means I'm gonna switch up my dropper fly to something that looks a little closer. All right, changed up my dropper fly. I've got a little caddis, pupa, larva. I'm not sure what the difference is. Some sort of caddis design, because I know there's a ton of caddis in here. I don't know if they're hatching. I thought I saw one on the top of the water earlier. Looked like a caddis to me. So we're gonna go back to, I caught this last fish right under that little riffle there. Probably a nice little soft spot. I mean, the wa this water is all soft. It's pretty, it's pretty slow, but probably some pretty good uh, cover, shelter for the fish up there. So we're gonna go up there. And we're gonna try this again. See if we can get a second one. Didn't take me long after switching flies to get a bite. So that's what makes me think the slow water. Oh, there's another bite. I was gonna say slow water. They don't really care for the pink. All right, let's see if that was the dropper. That's the first cast with my new cast dropper on. All right. Side pressure. Feels like a decent fish, like my last one. A lot of head shaking going on under there. Got him. Oh man, that's a nice fish. Oh, oh man. That's a 17, 17 incher. Oof. All right. That is a good looking fish. Let's see, I got him at, eh, 
eight, you know, maybe seven, 16 and a half, maybe 17. You took the dropper fly. Oh no, he took my Pertagon. <laughs> it's my second one on the on my Pertagon. Where did the dropper fly go? I lost. Oh no, it's up there. I just couldn't see it. Man, excellent. They like my Pertagon. That's a nice, very colorful fish. Nice female. There's nine and I'm gonna say that's 17 inches. It might be 16 and a half, but oof, that is a tank. Oh my gosh, that is such a big, fat, chunky fish. That one did not want to come in. Let's take it easy for a minute. All right. All right, we're gonna let you go. Hand in the waters, even though it's cold. All right. Oh, that's a monster fish. Look at this guy. Look at that fish. All right. Here, give you a second to revive. You good? Oh. Not yet. There we go. There we go. Hopefully off to live another day. Now my hands are cold. Oof. Just uh, wrapping up my second day of winter Euro nymphing in northern New Jersey. Uh, just hit up some local waters today. Managed to net a couple of really nice looking rainbows. Uh, super happy. Had had such a fun time. I managed to catch my first time catching fish on a fly that I I made up all my own. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, talked to some other people. Didn't catch anything. So the fact that my, <laughs> a fly I made actually outperformed some other people. Um, uh, makes me feel pretty pretty awesome but um, my feet got so cold at the end <laughs> my, they still hurt but uh, I had to get out I couldn't stay as long as I wanted to but um, hey I'm still happy fish fish in the net makes me happy so um, I hope to get out again soon and I want to thank everybody for watching all right I'm off for now <laughs>